dear ones. I was out driving on Route 66 through Arizona today and uh, there's a vast expanse of desert out there. Just uh, beautiful wide horizons and uh, um, not that many cars. It's beautiful. Pretty hot. And I was uh, going past a little town called Yaka and I saw um, a sign that said Proving Ground Road and that got me thinking about um, star races. I don't know why. <laughs> and um, so the, the beautiful expanse of sky, it, my mind started feeling very expanded. And, um, and so then I was inviting in the consciousness of the star races, you know. And uh, a consciousness came to me. Uh, it was a, 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 an immense, vast consciousness, a collective mind. And uh, it rolled in like REM waves through the mind, only far vaster. It felt to me like a waterfall of light, a huge waterfall of light. It was, it was an amazing, calming, happy experience, and, and they are so wise, so, so, so tranquil, so, you know, so different from us. <laughs> they don't think about things like hairpins and, uh, you know, the ignition of your car, <laughs> things like that. No, they, they, they're vast and uh, friendly and wise. And they call themselves, they say, they had a little trouble with saying who they were, but they call themselves Ra N. And before the Ra and before the N are pauses that I think uh, I couldn't translate properly or understand properly. It had to do with the memory of their race. So, but just the part that's verbal, it sounds a little like Ra N. Let's see, what else could I tell you about them? They came from a water world a long time ago. And uh, they were attracted to this planet because of the waters here. And uh, they then they found out about the, and oh, they developed all along uh, as a collective mind. They didn't jump into that. Um, I was reminded a little of the elementals and the uh, devas in the fourth dimension here on earth, but they say that their intellect is far vaster than, than that. And they're not like humans either because we have individual consciousness. So they're completely different from us. And that much I'm a little hard, I have a hard time grasping. Um, so they came here and then they found the whales here, the singing in the waters of the ocean. And so they couldn't colonize here because of that. They, they must have had some uh, feeling that they shouldn't do that. But they were trapped here because of the dimensional shift, I guess, for a very long time. So I told them about the Antirian Stargate that's opening up now, and they were pleased to take advantage of that. I might remember a little something else about them later on, but I want you to know just that there are vastly intelligent, um, wonderful races out there that, that, that respect us as humans. And even though they're a little puzzled by, for instance, our curiosity that gets us into trouble. <laughs> so, anyway, we're a birthing race, but we're nevertheless respected amongst the star nations, it seems. Um, so after that, I went uh, as far as Searchlight, Arizona, <laughs> And then I found out I was supposed to turn left and go over the mountains on Joshua Tree Highway. And I have just a little bit of footage for you on that, showing you just how windy it can get in the Joshua Tree country. That's all for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.